Hello and welcome students to another episode of History at Home. In today's episode, I will show you how to calculate a common payroll tax known as FICA. So eventually when you get a profession and a career, you'll start getting an income from this career. And then from there, your income will have different deductions uh, removed from it. And a common payroll tax that you'll have to pay is something known as FICA. So on your pay stub, you'll see multiple different payroll taxes subtracted from it. And a payroll tax is simply a tax that's deducted from your overall salary to help fund social insurance programs here in America. And by far, one of the more important and valuable social insurance programs that we have in America is known as FICA, F-I-C-A. And that acronym FICA stands for Federal Insurance Contributions Act. Um, and FICA is really two entities that are kind of rolled into one idea. Uh, FICA is the combination of Social Security and Medicare. So Social Security provides Americans with economic security for retired, disabled, and or widowed Americans. And we tend to associate Social Security with older Americans. Right now, the retirement age is 67 years old. Medicare provides health insurance for Americans that are 65 years or older and for Americans with disabilities. So how do we calculate this? How do we calculate this payroll tax? Social Security is going to be 6.2% of your gross pay. Your employer will also contribute 6.2%, uh, but we don't really have to focus on that and worry about that. We're thinking about us as the individual. Uh, Medicare will be 1.45% of your gross pay. And again, your employer would match that and provide a 1.45% contribution. In total, 7.65% of your gross pay uh, will be removed as a payroll tax, and that will be used to fund FICA. So we're going to show um, how to calculate your FICA tax. I do want to throw this out there. Um, this is going to be not a exact number and not a precise number. It's going to be good enough for our class. It's going to be an accurate idea, um, but by no means is this going to be exact. So here's kind of how we're going to calculate it in class. So here's a pay stub. We have current pay. We have year to date. We have net pay. That's the number that will actually show up in your bank account and your year to date net pay. Here's how you calculate Social Security. So I mentioned Social Security is 6.2%. Um, and from there, it's pretty easy. We're going to start with the gross pay. So in this case, $2,937.05. And we're going to multiply it by this number here, 0.062. I'm going to take this decimal point and move it over two spots to get 0.062. So I'm going to multiply these two together. I'm going to set up an equation, $2,937.05. Multiply it by 0 0.062. And that will come out to $182.10. And that would be my Social Security contribution for that pay stub. With Medicare, it's pretty much the same exact setup. Um, Medicare is 1.45%. So I would take my gross pay again, multiply it. I'm going to move that decimal place two positions to 0.0145, set up my equation. And my Medicare contribution would be $42.58. What I would need to do now is just add up these two numbers together, and that would give me the entirety of my FICA contribution. That would equal out to $224.68. So this would be a payroll deduction, $224.68. On my pay stub, I would see that labeled as FICA, and that would be removed for my gross pay. And that's why we start to see a difference in our gross pay and our actual net pay. This is one of those deductions that gets removed from gross pay, and that's why in the bank account, we would see this number and not this number. I could double check my math um, and kind of reverse the numbers, but this is going to be 7.65% um, of my total gross pay, so there is a way to check your work. Uh, $224.68 equals 7.65% of my number up here, my gross pay, $2,937.05. All right, so we're gonna practice this in class, do a couple of examples, um, and get a little bit more versed and a little bit better with operating with these types of numbers, but use this video as a reference to help you calculate your FICA payroll contributions. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.